Hello and welcome to another glorious day here at Juma Game Reserve with Safari TV Diary. And quite early on in the drive we find our resident family of leopard. Mishu busy sleeping in the tree on top of last night's kill. Kurula and Ninduna on the ground about four, five metres below him. And using the kill as a pillow, I'm not too sure if it is really the best place to sleep and tries to adjust his head. Looking very satisfied, obviously having his fill the night before. Induna still waiting his turn. Clearly not too happy about being woken up so early. And even though Mishu being very protective over the meat, it was actually his mother that took the kill up into the tree the night before. Took her quite a substantial amount of energy to get it up as far as she did. It's amazing how precariously balanced they can be in the small branches. Kula had a bit of meat before she took it up into the tree, so she had her fill. And after she did eat, she actually went to call the boys from the old quarantine area to where she was on the sandy patch. <laughs> and later on we find a small herd of elephants. And this young elephant being very inquisitive, trying to see what the jigger was all about, having a closer look, having a sniff, while the rest of the family was still busy looking for berries before the winter really sets in. And a stunning shot of the forktail Drongu, who was quite happy to sit there. You could even see the beautiful red eyes on him. And the hammer cop taking a vantage point on the hippo's back, looking for any last-minute frogs before the sun really does set in. Well, join us again tomorrow for the next instalment of Safari TV Diary.